Hi Fit Fam and welcome to today's episode of Destination Fitness with Carlos coming from the Sky House. A hot and steamy Sky House I should say because um, it's our summer here in Sydney. It's been raining a little bit and the sun's starting to come out. It's actually just starting to come out now as I'm looking out the window which makes it even hotter and humid. So guys that's where the um, episode is today. However today's episode, the reason I'm coming from the Sky House, I'm going to give you a nice core session which you can do at home. Uh, which won't take you longer at all. And this is because of all the questions people have been sending me on my social media and through YouTube, so thank you very much. And most of the questions that have been coming through is from people, uh, male and female, just asking how can you get some abs and um, how can you strengthen your core and things like that. So this is core strengthening exercises which I'm going to give you today. And the reason core strengthening exercises are important, um, if you've got a strong core, that's really the foundation for the rest of your um, body. So. Getting a strong core is so important, guys. It's like a building. Um, any building needs to have a foundation, and your core is your foundation of your body. So if you strengthen your core, it'll help you strengthen your body as well. And one other thing that I want to say is when people are asking about abs, uh, doing um, this exercise that we're going to do today, it doesn't necessarily give you abs. It strengthens your core. Um, abs are going to be underneath your skin, underneath your fat. So if you're not eating right, you're not going to see your abs. So you've got to remember that exercise is a combination of eating well and working out. So today's the workout part of it. In the future episodes, I'll be bringing you some of the um, food portions of it as well. But today's the workout. But just bear in mind, guys, that these workouts are fantastic for strengthening the core. But if you want the abs, you need to eat right as well, guys. And that's if you're doing everything naturally like we do here on this channel. Um, obviously, if you're you know, um, doing things like popping pills and injections and all this, that's a different thing. I uh, have, if you want to do it naturally, you do have to eat right, guys. So today's the episode. It's going to be a cool workout from home. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Off we go. Let's get our workout done. Okay fam, so exercise one is going to be our shoulder taps. Sun's coming out, so we're going to get this done. By the end of this workout, guys, I'll be dripping in sweat. So let's do exercise one, shoulder taps. Very common exercise. You get yourself almost in a push-up position, but you keep it as a plank, and just left to right, left to right, 10 times. What we're going to do here, guys, is 10 times of each of these exercises, and then you're going to um, do a few sets of them, so that you end up getting around 150 or, or so um, exercises. So as the sun comes out, right into my eyes, um, we're going to really sweat guys, I'm not looking forward to this, but let's go. We'll get our shoulder taps started. Okay, let's go. Push up position. Slightly low, keep that plank position guys. What you want is your back nice and straight. Not like this, not like that, but a plank position. And then 10 times each side guys, let's go. So now I'm going to do the half kneeling wood chop. Now I'm using a six kilo wall ball. Uh, guys, even if you don't have one of these in the house, you can always use um, even like a, um, a bottled drink, a one litre bottle or something like that. So I'm using a six kilo wall ball, which is what about a uh, 10 pound um, ball. So guys, you can use this. And it's the wood chop. I'm going to do 10 on each side. So we'll start on this side, then we're going to the other. So we start from here and we're wood chopping up. <laughs> Okay guys, now we're going to do the other side, 10 on that side as well. One thing which I forgot to mention, when you're doing this, you're keeping this core nice and tight. So all the time, when you keep this tight, you're like tensing in or sucking in, uh, what you're doing guys, you're actually working your core. So even when you're sucking your gut, 
If you want to do pictures, for example, you're sucking your gut so you don't look big, basically that also strengthens your core, except if you put in your exercise, it's even a better way to do it. So that's 10 on that side, 10 on this side. Okay, fam, so next what we're gonna do is what we call the army crawl. You would have seen this in many of my um, Instagram videos. I love doing this exercise, guys. We're gonna do only 10, um, and you'll see what it's all about. Very similar, getting that push-up position, going down onto your elbows in the plank position, and coming back up, and just alternating as you go along. But just watch it, and you'll see, guys. So you've got 10 of these. So get in that push-up position, and get down on the elbows. 10, one, two, there we go. guys that was your 10. Okay fam, well you probably can't see from the videos, I'm absolutely dripping now. So it's only been a few exercises and I'm already dripping of sweat guys. So that's how tough these exercises can be, especially in these humid conditions. But now we're going to do our leg raises guys. Very simple exercise, you've probably seen this a lot. Um, and again, you're just going to lie flat on the ground and just from your hinge, you're just going to bring your legs up straight 10 times. So off we go guys, 10 of these. Okay, and use your hands to keep your balance here, guys. Hands on the balance. And you don't touch the floor. That's your 10 guys, remember you don't touch the floor with your feet. Okay fam, so this exercise that we're gonna do now, everyone should know this one, the old, old sit up uh, that we used to do back in the 70s and 80s and even before that, now we've got all these new exercises that we throw in. But the sit up, what you do guys, I, don't, I try not to use this, but if you need some assistance, I just stick my feet under the couch here and it just helps you get up but if you can do it without doing this, guys, it's a lot better because um, you're using your core the whole way. You do have your feet giving you a bit of assistance in this stage here, but we'll still do it this way. 10 sit-ups, your basic sit-ups that you used to do from years ago. I try and bring my knees as close as possible. I don't want to be doing them from here. I try to do them here so that I can get right up as I go up, guys. So we'll do 10. Cross your arms over, keep them tight, uh, tight to your chest, and go all the way down, and don't do them too quickly. It's only 10, so do them slowly. That's it guys, nice and easy. Again, if you can do it without sticking your feet under the couch like here, as you can see, it's a little bit more difficult. But either way is fine guys. So it's another 10, your basic setup. Now we're going to the next exercise. Okay fam, this is gonna be a little bit different on this one. We've been doing sets of 10 on all our other exercises. Now this is gonna be holding for one minute. So you're gonna need your stopwatch. I've got the, uh, my uh, phone here on the stop clock. So we're gonna hold this for one minute. It's just gonna be your leg raises, but, um, but you're gonna hold the leg raise. So you're gonna have your feet about three inches off the ground. Now what just happened guys, I've, I've edited out this blooper. I just set the alarm earlier and I was gonna look at it and my hand hit it and it stopped, so I had to redo this video. So this is gonna be my second lot of this um, exercise. So I hope I can get through this one guys, but it's gonna be for one minute, okay? So one minute and we're gonna hold it. And this time I'm gonna hold my phone so that my hand doesn't hit the phone and uh, unset the timer so I don't know where I'm at. So one minute guys, legs off the ground. I'll show you where you put your hands. Okay, let's go guys. Hands to your side, just to give you a bit of balance. Feet only a little bit off the ground. Now remember guys, you've been doing about 
Um, no, I think we're up to set seven or eight, eighth exercise, I think. So you've done about uh, 70 or 80 reps already. So holding for a minute is not easy. You're gonna feel it in the lower core. You want your back as much as possible uh, connected to the floor the whole way. Sometimes you get a slight curve on your back. Try not to do that as much as possible, guys. Uh, that could cause a little bit of a back injury because um, you, your body tends to automatically try to curve up because uh, it's resisting against the core work that's going on there. So again, guys, I, I can feel it in my legs. I don't know if you can notice it on the video shaking there. Remember, this is the second time I've done this, so hopefully I can get through the whole minute. Shouldn't be long to go now, guys. Remember, hold those legs up off the ground. Oh, already done, beautiful. So that was it guys, now move on to the next exercise. Okay fam, so this one here, you've probably seen this on a few of my um, Instagram videos as well. And this is an old favourite guys, I remember my mum used to have one of these, this is the ab roller from years back, back in the 70s when I was a kid. Used to play with it, didn't even know what it was. So this is a great workout guys, um, 10 reps of this, I'll show you how to do it. But if you've got one of these, try it, if you have it, skip this one out of the routine. But this is a great workout, guys. It really stretches out your core. Really, it's like a plank, the old-fashioned. This is the original plank, I think, before we actually call it a plank. So try this one out, guys. We do 10, and we're going to go all the way out. I'll do it on an angle so you can see how I'm doing it. Knees on the floor. Now, I've got carpet here at home. If you've got uh, tiles or wood or anything like that, obviously put a mat or something under your knees because that will kill. But we're just going to go all the way out, guys, and all the way back. I'll keep my feet off the ground so that I'm just balancing on my knees and using my core to pull out and pull back in. So 10, off we go. I think I lost count at some point there, I wanted that 11, but that's 10. Now we go to our last lot. Okay, fam, so I've got my wall ball back again, the six kilo wall ball for our second last exercise. Now this is um, basically the Russian twist. Now, if you haven't got a six kilo wall ball, obviously you can use anything, guys, with a little bit of weight on it, because you're just going to be twisting side to side. So you're going to be doing one, one, two, two. So it's going to be 20 all up, but it's 10 on each side. So off we go, guys, second last exercise. It's quite heavy, six kilos isn't light, so and what you want to be doing if you've got a wall ball or a medicine ball or something like that, touch the ground as you go into each side. So it's going to be 10 all up guys, but 20 on each side. Let's go. That was it guys, we're nearly done, nearly done. Okay, fam, so this is going to be our last exercise, the single leg V sit-up. So in essence, you're going to put, bring one leg up and you're going to touch your toe with the other arm and then bring it down and bring the other leg up. So it's going to be 10 all up, but you're going to do 20 because you're going to do 10 on each leg. But you're going to alternate as you go along. So you'll see what we're doing, guys. So again, slide down on an angle for you. So if you bring your left leg up, your right hand get, touches the, the leg. So off we go, guys. Bring the hands behind the head and the legs up. Okay, fam, so I hope you enjoyed today's Destination Fitness with Carlos core home workout. So just a few exercises, guys. Put that together. Put it in a circuit. Obviously, that was only one set. 
do two, three sets maybe. And guys, that's how you get a nice, um, strong core workout at home. What you find a lot in the gyms, whenever I go to the gyms, one thing I hardly see anybody ever do is cardio work and core work. Everyone just likes pushing weights. But guys, this is one way where if you do go to the gym and you want to do all your weights, which is great, come home and you can do your core workout at home, guys, and get a good, strong core from home. You don't even need the gym or anything um, for, for strengthening your core. So that's what's great about these sort of workouts. You can do them right here. You don't even need much equipment. As you saw, I had some equipment, but you don't even need any equipment. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it today. I want to see you on your next episode. And remember, try and subscribe and like to the channel, guys. It's doing really well on all the views and everything else. It would be great to get the subscribers up. But once again, guys, I hope you're enjoying it all. Keep sending me your requests, because this was one of the requests, or quite a number of them, actually, about how to get the nice, strong call. So uh, keep sending me your, your requests, and I'll do the videos um, to help suit and help you to get on that uh, fitness journey as well. So thanks, guys. See you next time.